What was the moment like for you when you found out that Julia Roberts was going to be playing you in your movie, oh Eat, Pray, Love? I'm going to India, and I'm going to end the year in Bali. I'm still like, what? Like, even going to the premiere and seeing the movie, there's still nothing in me that has digested that that happened. So Julia Roberts <laughs> playing me in a movie? Huh? One woman that you admire the most in the world. My mom. She was told in a million different ways that she did not really matter. The most important thing in the world to my mother was to raise women who were not waiting for somebody to rescue them. I only owe my mother literally everything. She's my hero. What's your favorite holiday? Halloween's where it's at. <laughs> and what are you going to be for Halloween this year? The Swedish chef from the Muppets. Me and a bunch of our friends were all going as various Muppets. And since I can do his voice, the hoo to hoo to hoo to hoo voice. If you could be any animal, what animal would you want to be? The cat that I grew up with. If you could travel to any place in the world. Iceland, it's supposed to be like otherworldly, Game of Thronesy, beautiful. What's your favorite food to try when you travel? Whatever they dare you to eat. Like, bring it on. <laughs> it's like this weird pride thing. So you'll definitely be eating rotten shark in Iceland when I you I will go. meet you there at the rotten shark buffet. One sound that you hate. There's a certain accent that I can't stand, but I'm not going to say which one. Uh, <laughs> in fact, we'll just leave it at that. One job you'd never want to have. Like office culture, I think I, that just scares me. I'll babysit your kids, I'll clean your toilets, I'll mow your lawn, but please don't make me go to an office. Liz Gilbert's biggest fear. Certain level of emotional confrontation with people involving me having to express my anger or disappointment. It's one of the biggest mistakes that you regret. I regret that I gave so much of my youth to boys and guys and men. Um, I was boy crazy and romantic and sort of adventurous in those ways. And it's not, honest God, it's not so much the sex that I regret. It's the hours of my life that I gave away. Do you have a spiritual practice? Um, I'm working on it. I've had 17 consecutive days of meditation. I feel like that's a huge thing for me. And my spiritual practice is to try to make sure that whatever situation I'm going into, I'm trying to bring light into that, into that instead of just waiting for light to appear. We're here at Omega Institute where a lot of huge gurus come. Jen, would you rather have a session with Brian Weiss for past lives? And imagine that you can breathe in the beautiful energy. Deepak Chopra with meditation. There's nothing more than you can do than to radiate your humanity. Froggy, a shaman. Shaman! Healing. <laughs> Stop right there! Shaman. Mysticism is so fascinating to me. You know, most of my creative journey has been a shamanistic journey. Do you know who your animal guide is? It's a fox. I see them everywhere and it's also, um, you know, so much of what my ethic about the way that I teach creativity is that I'm constantly trying to get them into the headset of a trickster. And of course the fox is the trickster. Thank you so much. Yeah, my Appreciate pleasure. You